Here at Indies, let me present you a report on the topic Training of Practicing Teachers for the Application of STEM Education. The modern informational society poses new challenges to the education system, and one of the ways to solve them is STEM education, which has become one of the popular learning trends. The development of STEM education is recognized as a priority both in the world and at the state level. The government of Ukraine has adopted the concept uh, for the development of natural and mathematical education and developed an action plan for the implementation of the concept for the development of natural and mathematical education until 2027. The document defines a set of measures related to the formation and development of skills in uh, research and engineering, invention, entrepreneurship, early professional self-determination, and readiness for informed choice of future profession, promotion of scientific, technical and engineering professions, a dissemination of innovations in education. The implementation of measures is directly related to teacher training. It is the competence of teachers in the field of STEM education that is necessary condition for the larger scale uh, implementation of STEM education. Researchers from a number of European research centers hold a similar view. In addition, the European Commission has adopted a digital education plan for 2021-2027. Among the planned actions is the involvement of women in STEM. According to the European Commission, such activities should increase the involvement of more participants in STEM education. Given that the majority of teachers are women, this activity is aimed at expanding the number of professionals involved in STEM education. Science, technology, engineering and mathematics have already improved many aspects of life, such as health and well-being, infrastructure, sustainable energy production, agriculture and more. In synergy with the social sciences and humanities, STEM has the potential to transform and improve people's lives while ensuring environmental sustainability and providing a basis for new approaches and solutions to current and future global problems. The question is to realize this potential through the training of specialists in this field. Training should begin in secondary school, and therefore an important step in this direction is the training of teachers who are able to convey the concept of STEM to students. University curricula for future teachers are adapted to the introduction of STEM education. The issue of retraining of uh, practicing teachers, formation of their competencies in the implementation of STEM education, expansion of interdisciplinary uh, learning skills, sustainable use of educational material based on a scientific approach and combining theoretical material with its practical content remains unresolved. The process of teacher training in the context of the implementation of STEM education also has certain features. First, it is impossible to implement interdisciplinarity until the teacher acquires a thorough knowledge on the disciplines in which the integration takes place. So, in the program of training teachers to use STEM technologies, basic disciplines uh, must precede all others, and their mastery must be given enough time. Secondly, it is the need for practical experience, in particular in the implementation of project activities. This experience is gained by the teacher during a variety of exercises through indep independent work um, in laboratory and practical classes, in various types of repetition, as well as through the implementation of project activities during training, which encourages them to think uh, about problem problems related to their learning. Third, it is very important to socialize and adapt uh, the teacher in the prof professional circle, which will allow them to form an appropriate professional behavior, compare themselves uh, to other teachers, as well as provide an incentive to uh, continue learning. Fourth, the effectiveness of uh, the teacher training process uh, depends entirely on the level of formation of its value or motivational sphere. Therefore, in the process of preparing teachers for the use of STEM technologies, it is necessary to create an appropriate motivational background, stimulating their psychological readiness to learn as well as forming an active and positive attitude 
to technology in professional activities based on existing knowledge and experience. The process of preparing teachers for the application of STEM education is possible during self-educational activities and through uh, activities during refresher courses. For this purpose, the Denver State Pedagogical University has developed and is implementing a certificate program implementation of STEM education in educational activities. The purpose of the certificate program is to form students' skills to implement STEM education in a scientifically sound and critical way, while they use interdisciplinary interaction to introduce methods and means of STEM education in professional activity. The target audience of the program is future and practicing teachers of general and pre-higher education. The developed certificate program contains five contact topics. The first is the proposed topics, uh, STEM education, the state of implementation and prospects uh, for development, aims to provide an overview of the STEM approach and current trends uh, for the near and long term. Historical overview of STEM education, starting from the principle of clarity, allows to distinguish the genesis of uh, STEM development, to trace the stages of formation and influences on STEM education from related and opposite approaches to learning. In addition to the lecture material for the course participants, an essay on uh, what I know about STEM is offered. The second proposed topic of the certificate course, uh, Organization of STEM-Oriented Educational Environment, forms the theoretical basis of the STEM approach to learning. Various aspects of the STEM uh, learning environment, inherent tools, uh, forms and methods uh, of learning, etc. are considered. To consolidate the studied material, it is proposed to create a structure of STEM-oriented educational environment using mental maps. The third topic, uh, use of STEM equipment in research projects, uh, considered first of all a typical list of teaching aids and equipment uh, for classrooms and STEM laboratories. Depending on the field of education, the list of equipment may differ significantly. The Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine approved the standard list of teaching aids uh, and equipment for classrooms and STEM laboratories. It determines the requirements uh, for teaching aids and equipment, classroom, uh, classrooms of uh, biology, geography, mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry and STEM laboratories, of state and municipal institutions of uh, general, secondary and vocational education. Since the main form of training in the certificate course is din distance, uh, the students get acquainted mostly with the emulation of equipment or with the visual representation of the stages of use of equipment. The practical part of the study of the topic is to choose from a typical list of teaching aids and equipment needed for the educational field taught by the students uh, to a comparative analysis of its parameters and uh, characteristics. The first topic of the program, Network Resources to Support Students' Research Activities, is devoted to the implementation of STEM education uh, through network resources. This can be virtual labs, uh, simulators, uh, cloud storage services and the analysis a means of visualization of the received data and creation of infographics, etc. Uh, the practical part of the study um, of this topic involves uh, the creation of an electronic educational resource designed to study the topic of uh, knowledge of students uh, taking the STEM approach into account. The fifth topic is aimed at studying the methodological aspects of the implementation of STEM education in the educational process. First of all, uh, the peculiarities of the implementation of STEM education depending on the field of knowledge are considered. Each field uh, of knowledge has its own char characteristics uh, related to the research activities in accordance uh, with the which uh, the field uh, of and, and the specifics of the study of disciplines in this field of knowledge are built. 
The practical part of the study of the topic involves a detailed development of the lesson with the preparation of all necessary materials for it. The consideration of each topic is planned at levels corresponding to Bloom's taxonomy. Students learn basic knowledge of the topic uh, connected with existing ones and try to apply them according to their field of knowledge. The result of the application, depending on the topic, may be new visual aids, including in digital form, uh, the development of fragments of uh, training sessions, tasks, including for self-educational activities that have uh, practical significance, and so on. These stages allow us to form a uh, basic knowledge of the topic, but this will not be enough for us. Uh, through group work, uh, learners begin to test their own work on their colleagues. The results uh, of the approbation, the conducted survey, the discussion in the groups of the performed on developments are used for carrying out uh, the efficiency. The last step is to improve your own development and make it available to the public. The introduction of the principles of STEM education in the learning space contributes to the creation of fundamentally new model of learning with the new opportunities for teachers and students. Uh, using in, uh, an interdisciplinary approach, integration of school subjects, uh, practical orientation, research and project activities during classes, focusing on the concept of STEM, we can build a modern, economically stable, smart and happy society with a high level of technology. The ongoing professional training of practitioners allows to adjust the educational trends, learning technologies and scientific approaches in teaching. The proposed certificate course for practicing teachers, which by the way can be taken by the future teachers, allows you to adjust the knowledge of STEM approach in teaching expand knowledge of interdisciplinary interaction in teaching, improve scientific teaching of teaching materials, learn to form a scientific approach and widely use project training. Thank you for attention.